Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve a couple of numerical problems on three phase three van AC systems. By solving these problems, we shall learn how to determine the line currents, the load voltages, the neutral shift voltage or the load impedances when a three phase three van symmetrical AC system supplies power to a star connected unbalanced three phase load we have to determine the line current ib in the network shown when zr equals to 5 ohm at an angle 30 degree and zy equals to 2 ohm at an angle 60 degree the applied line voltage is 100 volt 50 hertz we also have to write Expressions for line currents when phase sequence is R, Y, B. Let us first write down the given data. Line to line supply voltage VL equals to 100 volts. Taking line voltage VRY as reference for phase sequence R, Y, B, we can write line voltage VRY equals to VL at an angle 0 degree that is equal to 100 volts at an angle 0 degree. VYB equals to VL at an angle minus 120 degree that is equal to 100 volts at an angle minus 120 degree. And VBR equals to VL at an angle plus 120 degree that is equal to 100 volts at an angle plus 120 degree. Given per phase load impedances, ZR equals to 5 ohm at an angle 30 degree and ZY equals to 2 ohm at an angle 60 degree. Let us now calculate current flowing through the R line. IR equals to VRB divided by ZR. Here line voltage VRB equals to minus VBR. That is equal to 100 volts at an angle minus 60 degree. Using values we get IR equals to 100 at an angle minus 60 degree divided by 5 at an angle 30 degree. That gives us 20 ampere at an angle minus 90 degree. In Cartesian form this may be expressed as 0 minus J times 20 ampere. And current flowing through the Y line IY equals to VYB divided by ZY. Using values we get 100 at an angle minus 120 degree divided by 2 at an angle 60 degree that gives us 50 ampere at an angle minus 180 degree. In Cartesian form this may be written as minus 50 plus J times 0 ampere. Let the current flowing through the B line be IB. Applying Kirchhoff's current law at node N dash we get IR plus IY plus IB equals to 0 or IB equals to minus of IR plus IY. Using values we get 50 plus J times 20 ampere. In polar form this may be written as 53.85 ampere at an angle plus 21.8 degree. We have determined Line currents IR equals to 20 ampere at an angle minus 90 degree. IY equals to 50 ampere at an angle minus 180 degree. And IB equals to 53.85 ampere at an angle plus 21.8 degree. We know that expression for circuit current I equals to IM sin of omega t plus 5 where peak value of circuit current 
I am equals to root two times I R M S. Given supply frequency F equals to fifty hertz. Let us now calculate angular frequency omega equals to two pi F. That is equal to two pi into fifty. That gives us three hundred fourteen point one six radian per second. Now we shall write down expressions for line currents. I R equals to root two into twenty sine of three hundred fourteen point one six T minus ninety degree. That is equal to minus twenty eight point two eight four. Cos of three hundred fourteen point one six T ampere. I Y equals to root two into fifty sine of three hundred fourteen point one six T minus one eighty degree. That is equal to minus seventy point seven one sine of three hundred fourteen point one six T ampere. And I B equals to root two into fifty three point eight five. Sine of three hundred fourteen point one six T plus twenty one point eight degree. That is equal to seventy six point one five five four. Sine of three hundred fourteen point one six T plus twenty one point eight degree ampere. An unbalanced star connected load is supplied by a symmetrical three phase three wire source. Of phase sequence R Y B, the voltage of the R line relative to the start point of the load is 145.6 volt at an angle plus 35 degree, and the voltage of the Y line relative to the start point is 255.4 volt at an angle plus 207 degree. We have to determine the line voltage of the supply, the voltage across the B phase of the load, and the voltage of the start point of the load relative to the neutral point of the supply. Let us first write down the given data. Voltage drops across load impedances. V R N dash equals to 145.6 volt. At an angle plus 35 degree in Cartesian form, this may be written as 119.2685 plus J times 83.5127 volt, and V Y N dash equals to 255.4 volt at an angle plus 207 degree in Cartesian form. This may be written as Minus 227.5631 minus J times 115.9492 volt. Expression for line voltage V R Y equals to V R N dash minus V Y N dash. Using values we get 346.8316. Plus J times 199.4619 volt. In polar form, this may be written as 400 volt at an angle plus 30 degree. We can express V R Y as V L at an angle phi R Y. Therefore, magnitude of line to line supply voltage V L equals to 400 volts. And phase angle of the line voltage V R Y phi R Y equals to 30 degree. For a symmetrical three-phase three-wire AC source, supply voltage per phase V phase equals to V L by root three. That is equal to 400 divided by root three. That gives us 230.9401 volt. When phase sequence is R Y B, phase voltages slant their respective line voltages by an angle 30 degree. Therefore, phase voltage V R equals to V phase at an angle minus 30 degree plus phi R Y. We have obtained supply voltage per phase 
V phase equals to 230.9401 volt and phase angle of the line voltage VRY, phi RY equals to 30 degree. Therefore, VR equals to 230.9401 volt at an angle 0 degree in Cartesian form. This may be expressed as 230.9401 plus J times 0 volt for a symmetrical 3 phase 3 watt source phase voltage Vy equals to V phase at an angle minus 150 degree plus phi Ry that is equal to 230.9401 volt at an angle minus 120 degree in Cartesian form this may be written as minus 115.47 minus J times 200 volt and VB equals to V phase at an angle plus 90 degree plus phi RY that is equal to 230.9401 volt at an angle plus 120 degree. In Cartesian form this may be written as minus 115.47 plus J times 200 volt. Now we shall determine voltage of the start point of the load relative to the neutral point of the supply. V n dash n equals to V r minus V r n dash. Using values we get 111.6716 minus J times 83.5127 volt. In polar form, this may be written as 139.445 volt at an angle minus 36.7907 degree. Now we shall calculate voltage drop across the load impedance connected to V phase. V B n dash equals to V B minus V n dash n using values we get. Minus 227.1416 plus J times 283.5127 volt. This may be expressed in polar form as 363.28 volt at an angle plus 128.7 degree. A register of 300 ohm and a capacitor of 8 microfarad are connected in series across the lines A and B of a 400 volt 50 hertz 3 phase 3 watt symmetrical system. We have to determine the voltage between the junction of register and capacitor and the line C when phase sequence is ABC and when phase sequence is ACB. Let us first write down the given data. Supply frequency F equals to 50 Hz. Values of load components. Resistance R equals to 300 Ohm. And capacitance of the capacitor C equals to 8 microfarad. That is equal to 8 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad. Now we shall calculate capacitive reactance. Xc equals to 1 upon 2 pi F into C. Using values we get 1 upon 2 pi into 50 into 8 into 10 to the power minus 6. That is equal to 397.8874 ohm. Now we shall calculate impedance connected between terminals A and B. JdB equals to R minus J times Xc. That is equal to 300 minus J times 397.8874 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 498.3115 ohm at an angle minus 52.9844 degree. Given line to line supply voltage VL equals to 400 volts. Taking line voltage VAB as reference we can write line voltage VAB equals to VL at an angle 0 degree 
that is equal to 400 volts at an angle 0 degree. Now we shall calculate circuit current. I equals to VAB divided by ZAB. We have obtained impedance connected between terminals A and B. ZAB equals to 498.3115 ohm at an angle minus 52.9844 degree. Using values we get I equals to 400 at an angle 0 degree divided by 498.3115 at an angle minus 52.9844 degree. That gives us 0 0.8027 ampere at an angle plus 52.9844 degree. Now we shall determine FS load voltage. VAN dash equals to I into R. Given resistance R equals to 300 ohm. Therefore VAN dash equals to 0 0.8027 at an angle plus 52.9844 degree into 300. That gives us 240.81 volt at an angle plus 52.9844 degree. In Cartesian form this may be written as 145 plus J times 192.28 volt. When phase sequence is ABC, line voltage VBC equals to VL at an angle minus 120 degree that is equal to 400 volts at an angle minus 120 degree and VCA equals to VL at an angle plus 120 degree that is equal to 400 volts at an angle plus 120 degree. Let us now determine the voltage between the junction of resistor and capacitor and the line C. Vn dash C equals to Vac minus Van dash. Here line voltage Vac equals to minus of Vca that is equal to 400 volts at an angle minus 60 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 200 minus J times 346.41 volt. Using values we get Vn dash C equals to 55 minus J times 538.69 volt. This may be written in polar form as 541.49 volt at an angle minus 84.17 degree. For phase sequence ACB, line voltage VBC equals to VL at an angle plus 120 degree that is equal to 400 volts at an angle plus 120 degree and VCA equals to VL at an angle minus 120 degree that is equal to 400 volts at an angle minus 120 degree. Let us now calculate the voltage between the junction of resistor and capacitor and the line C. Vn dash C equals to Vac minus Van dash. Here line voltage Vac equals to minus of Vca. That is equal to 400 volts at an angle plus 60 degree. In Cartesian form this may be expressed as 200 plus J times 346.41 volt. Using values we get Vn dash C equals to 55 plus J times 154.13 volt. In polar form this may be written as 163.65 volt at an angle plus 70.36 degree. We have to determine the values of three impedances of ZR, ZY and ZB connected in star to a 415 volt symmetrical three phase supply with phase sequence RYB. If the potential of 
load start point with respect to supply neutral is 180 volts at an angle plus 75 degree and currents flowing in the phases Y and B are 12 ampere at an angle minus 60 degree and 20 ampere at an angle plus 90 degree respectively. Let us first write down the given data. Line to line supply voltage VL equals to 415 volts. For a symmetrical three phase three wire supply, supply voltage per phase V phase equals to VL by root 3 that is equal to 415 divided by root 3 that gives us 239.6 volt. Taking phase voltage VR as reference for phase sequence RYB, we can write phase voltage VR equals to V phase at an angle 0 degree that is equal to 239.6 volt at an angle 0 degree. In Cartesian form this may be written as 239.6 plus J times 0 volt Vy equals to V phase at an angle minus 120 degree that is equal to 239.6 volt at an angle minus 120 degree. In Cartesian form this may be expressed as minus 119.8 minus J times 207.5 volt and VB equals to V phase at an angle plus 120 degree that is equal to 239.6 volt at an angle plus 120 degree. In Cartesian form this may be written as minus 119.8 plus J times 207.5 volt. Given Neutral displacement voltage V n dash n equals to 180 volts at an angle plus 75 degree. In Cartesian form this may be written as 46.6 plus J times 173.87 volt. Applying Kirchhoff's voltage law we get expression for voltage drop across each load impedance. Vrn dash equals to Vr minus Vn dash n. Using values we get 193 minus J times 173.87 volt. In polar form this may be written as 259.7687 volt at an angle minus 42 degree. Vyn dash equals to Vy minus Vn dash n. Using values we get minus 166.4 minus J times 381.37 volt. In polar form this may be written as 416.1 volt at an angle minus 113.57 degree. And VBN dash equals to VB minus VN dash N. Using values we get. Minus 166.4 plus J times 33.63 volt. In polar form this may be expressed as 169.7644 volt at an angle plus 168.57 degree. Given current flowing through the Y line IY equals to 12 ampere at an angle minus 60 degree. In Cartesian form this may be written as 6 minus J times 10.3923 ampere and current flowing through the B line IB equals to 20 ampere at an angle plus 90 degree. In Cartesian form this may be written as 0 plus J times 20 ampere. Let the current flowing through the R line be IR. Applying Kirchhoff's current law to node N dash we get 
IR plus IY plus IB equals to 0. Therefore, IR equals to minus of IY plus IB. Using values we get minus 6 minus J times 9.6077 ampere. In polar form, this may be written as 11.3273 ampere at an angle minus 122 degree. We have obtained voltage drop across each load impedance Vrn dash equals to 259.7687 volt at an angle minus 42 degree Vyn dash equals to 416.1 volt at an angle minus 113.57 degree and Vbn dash equals to 169.7644 volt at an angle plus 168.57 degree. Now we shall determine par phase load impedances. Jr equals to Vrn dash divided by Ir. Using values we get 259.7687 at an angle minus 42 degree. Divided by 11.3273 at an angle minus 122 degree that gives us 22.933 ohm at an angle minus 80 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 3.9823 minus J times 22.5846 ohm. Zy equals to Vyn dash divided by Iy. Using values we get 416.1 at an angle minus 113.57 degree divided by 12 at an angle minus 60 degree that gives us 34.675 ohm at an angle minus 53.57 degree. In Cartesian form, this may be written as 20.5914 minus J times 27.8989 ohm and ZB equals to VBN dash divided by IB. Using values we get 169.7644 at an angle plus 168.57 degree divided by 20 at an angle plus 90 degree that gives us 8.4882 ohm at an angle 78.57 degree. In Cartesian form this may be expressed as 1.6821 plus J times 8.3199 ohm. So today we have solved a couple of numerical problems on three phase three wire AC systems. By solving these problems, we have learned how to determine the line currents, the load voltages, the neutral shift voltage, or the load impedances when a symmetrical three phase three wire AC system feeds a star connected unbalanced three phase load. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.